David in Kokomo, Indiana. I love the name, Kokomo. <laughs> Sounds like a breakfast cereal. Um, is it possible to adapt coaxial or USB to I squared S? Well, definitely not coaxial. And boy, perhaps a USB cable, but not USB, the standard. Okay, so let's talk about what is I squared S. I squared S is the native method of transferring digital audio data within equipment. So I squared S within a transport CD player or DAC is how we move data, digital audio data around within the component. Okay, And it has a separate clock, a couple of clocks. It has separate data lines. So just think of it this way. It has separate clocks and data. So the reason we can't use that on coaxial is because there's only one cable in a coax, right? So to run a digital audio signal through coax, you need to take the four or five separate um, digital streams that are running in the I squared S format and multiplex them down into one. And that's called SPDIF the Sony Philips digital interface. And then when it comes in, it has to be split back apart again, and that uses all kinds of stuff, phase lock loops and whatnot to get to lock that on, separate it all, and then it gets back into I squared S and runs through your DAC. Not the best way to do it. Always better to keep I squared S as I squared S. Now we use the, and, and USB is a whole different format and would never support that. So we use an HDMI cable and it's a great cable. It's already designed for digital audio or for digital data, digital video, digital audio. It's a great way to do it. But no, I don't think there's a practical way to do that. But I squared S is absolutely the better format and the one that we use pretty much in everything we do. All right? Thanks.